Welcome back, Truth Seekers. We're thrilled to have you join us for another captivating episode of the series, Imran Khan. From cricket star to prime minister, his journey, achievements, and challenges. It's always an exciting journey as we delve into the intricate history of this global phenomenon. We're grateful for the amazing response we've received, with 53% of our viewers tuning in regularly. However, if you haven't already, we encourage you to hit that subscribe button and activate the notification bell. By doing so, you'll ensure that you never miss a single episode of The Truth Chronicles. Our aim is to keep you engaged, informed, and entertained. So let's embark on yet another enlightening exploration of the Imran Khan, from cricket star to prime minister, his journey, achievements, and challenges, captivating saga. Thank you for being part of our community. So let's begin. Certainly, Imran Khan is a prominent figure in Pakistani politics. Here's a brief overview of his history, political career, and the current situation. Number 1. History and Early Life Imran Khan was born on October 5, 1952, in Lahore, Pakistan. He comes from an affluent family and received his early education in Pakistan before pursuing higher education abroad. He studied at the University of Oxford, where he excelled in cricket and gained international recognition as a cricket player. He played for the Pakistan national cricket team from 1971 to 1992 and captained the team to victory in the 1992 Cricket World Cup. Certainly, here's some additional detailed information about Imran Khan's history and early life. Birth and Family Background Imran Khan, born on October 5, 1952, in Lahore, Pakistan, was raised in a family with a notable and privileged background. He comes from a family with a history of involvement in philanthropy and social service. His paternal family, known as the Niazi family, belongs to the Pashtun ethnic group, and his maternal family, the Burmans, has a mix of Pashtun and English roots. Early Education and Childhood Imran Khan received his early education at Lahore's Aitchison College, one of Pakistan's most prestigious schools. His education at Aitchison College introduced him to a diverse range of subjects and helped shape his early intellectual pursuits. Pursuit of Higher Education After completing his schooling, Khan embarked on a journey of higher education. He went on to study at the University of Oxford in the United Kingdom, where he pursued a degree in economics, politics, and philosophy at Keble College. His time at Oxford marked a significant turning point in his life, shaping his worldview and providing him with exposure to different cultures and ideologies. Cricket Career During his time at Oxford, Imran Khan began his cricketing journey. He demonstrated exceptional talent and skills as a cricketer, catching the attention of cricket enthusiasts and experts. His cricketing prowess earned him a place in Oxford's cricket team, where he continued to hone his skills. International Cricket Debut Imran Khan's talent on the cricket field did not go unnoticed. He made his debut for the Pakistan national cricket team in 1971, marking the beginning of a legendary cricketing career that would span over two decades. His remarkable performance as a fast bowler and all-rounder garnered him acclaim both nationally and internationally. Captaincy in the 1992 Cricket World Cup One of the most iconic moments in Imran Khan's cricketing career was his leadership as the captain of the Pakistan national cricket team. Under his captaincy, Pakistan achieved a historic victory in the 1992 Cricket World Cup held in Australia and New Zealand. This victory was a source of immense pride for Pakistan, and Khan's leadership on and off the field played a pivotal role in the team's success. Impact on Pakistani Cricket Imran Khan's influence on Pakistani cricket extended beyond the field. His dedication to the sport, along with his charismatic leadership style, inspired a generation of cricketers. He became a role model for aspiring players, motivating them to strive for excellence and embodying the spirit of perseverance. In conclusion, Imran Khan's early life was marked by his privileged upbringing, early education in Pakistan, and pursuit of higher education at the University of Oxford. His cricketing journey began during his time at Oxford and culminated in a historic victory as the captain of the Pakistan national cricket team in the 1992 Cricket World Cup. His impact on the sport and his journey from a talented cricketer to a charismatic leader would eventually pave the way for his entry into Pakistani politics. Number 2. Political Career Imran Khan transitioned from cricket to politics after his retirement from the sport. He founded the Pakistan Tariq-e-Insaf (PTI) party in 1996 with the goal of creating a corruption-free and just society. He focused on anti-corruption and social justice issues, criticizing established political parties for their alleged mismanagement and corruption. 
Over the years, Imran Khan's PTI gradually gained support, especially among young urban voters, due to his anti-status quo stance and promises of change. Certainly, here's more detailed information about Imran Khan's political career and his journey from cricket to politics. Transition to Politics After retiring from his illustrious cricket career, Imran Khan embarked on a new chapter of his life in the field of politics. He transitioned from being a sports icon to a political figure with a vision for transforming Pakistani society and governance. Founding Pakistan Tariq e Insaf, PTI In 1996, Imran Khan founded the Pakistan Tariq e Insaf, PTI, party. The establishment of PTI marked the beginning of his political journey. The party's name translates to the Movement for Justice, reflecting Khan's commitment to addressing social injustices and corruption. Vision for a Corruption-Free Society One of the core pillars of Imran Khan's political ideology was his emphasis on creating a corruption-free society. He positioned PTI as a party that would challenge the established political order and bring transparency and accountability to governance. Focus on Social Justice Imran Khan's political rhetoric often revolved around the theme of social justice. He highlighted the disparities between the elite and the marginalized segments of society and advocated for policies that would uplift the underprivileged and provide equal opportunities for all. Critique of Established Political Parties Khan's entry into politics brought with it a fervent critique of traditional political parties in Pakistan. He accused these parties of perpetuating corruption, nepotism, and mismanagement. His criticism resonated with segments of the population disillusioned by the status quo. Anti-Corruption Advocacy Imran Khan's anti-corruption stance became a central theme of his political discourse. He pledged to root out corruption from all levels of government and institutions, vowing to bring those involved in corrupt practices to justice. Gradual Gain of Support In the early years of PTI's existence, the party faced challenges in gaining widespread support. However, Imran Khan's persistence and commitment began to resonate with a growing number of individuals who sought change in an alternative to the existing political landscape. Youth Appeal and Promises of Change Imran Khan's anti-status quo stance and his promise of delivering tangible change appealed particularly to young urban voters. The youth were drawn to his vision for a more transparent, accountable, and just society, and they saw PTI as a platform for their aspirations. Electoral Progress over the years, PTI's support base gradually expanded. The party gained representation in various provincial assemblies and the National Assembly through elections. This marked the party's electoral progress and solidified its position as a significant political force in Pakistan. Long Road to Leadership Imran Khan's journey from founding PTI to becoming the Prime Minister of Pakistan was a lengthy one. It involved building a grassroots movement, forming alliances, and navigating the complexities of Pakistani politics. In summary, Imran Khan's political career is marked by his transition from cricket to politics and the establishment of the Pakistan Tariq e Insaf PTI, party. His focus on anti-corruption, social justice, and promises of change resonated with segments of the population, especially the youth. Over the years, PTI gained attraction as a significant political force, eventually leading Imran Khan to the highest office in the country as the 22nd Prime Minister of Pakistan. Number 3. Road to Prime Ministership Imran Khan's political journey was marked by ups and downs. He led protests and demonstrations against various governments and criticized their policies. In the 2018 general elections, PTI emerged as the largest party in the National Assembly and formed a coalition government in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province and Punjab. Imran Khan's PTI managed to form a majority government at the federal level, and he became the 22nd Prime Minister of Pakistan in August 2018. Certainly, here's more detailed information about Imran Khan's road to prime ministership and the events that led to his becoming the 22nd Prime Minister of Pakistan. Political Activism and Protests Imran Khan's political journey was characterized by his activism and his role as a vocal critic of various governments. He led protests, demonstrations, and sit-ins against what he perceived as governance issues, corruption, and mismanagement in the political establishment. Emergence of PTI as a political force Over time, Imran Khan's Pakistan Tariq e Insaf PTI, gradually transformed from a fledgling political party to a prominent political force. The party's message of change and its anti-corruption stance resonated with a growing number of disillusioned voters. 2013 General Elections in the 2013 general elections, PTI's performance was noteworthy, 
but the party fell short of forming a majority government at the federal level. PTI formed a provincial government in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, marking the party's first experience in governance. Provincial Governance and Learning Curve During its tenure in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, PTI faced challenges and learned valuable lessons about governance. Imran Khan's party implemented reforms and policies, providing insights into PTI's approach to governance. 2018 General Elections and Victory The 2018 general elections were a turning point for PTI. The party's electoral campaign focused on its promise to tackle corruption, improve governance, and work for the welfare of the people. T's message found resonance among voters, particularly the youth. Formation of Provincial Governments In the aftermath of the 2018 elections, PTI formed coalition governments in multiple provinces. PTI secured a majority in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province and formed a coalition government in Punjab, which is one of the most populous and politically significant provinces in Pakistan. Path to Federal Government Imran Khan's PTI managed to secure the most seats in the National Assembly after the 2018 elections. This marked a significant achievement for the party, positioning it as a potential contender for forming the federal government. Majority Government at the Federal Level Through negotiations and alliances, PTI managed to form a majority government at the federal level. Imran Khan's charismatic leadership, the party's promises of change, and the public's desire for a new direction in governance played a crucial role in PTI's success. Becoming the Prime Minister On August 17, 2018, Imran Khan was elected as the 22nd Prime Minister of Pakistan by the National Assembly. His election marked a historic moment, as he transitioned from a cricketer and political activist to the highest political office in the country. Challenges and Responsibilities Imran Khan's assumption of the prime ministership came with a myriad of challenges. He inherited an economy facing issues such as inflation, fiscal deficits, and unemployment. His government also faced the task of implementing the promised reforms and tackling governance issues. In summary, Imran Khan's road to prime ministership was characterized by his political activism, the growth of PTI as a political force, the success in the 2018 elections, and the formation of a majority government at both the provincial and federal levels. His journey from a critic of governance to the leader of the country marked a significant chapter in Pakistani political history. So, this was the first episode of the series, Imran Khan, From Cricket Star to Prime Minister, His Journey, Achievements, and Challenges, Part 1. And I hope you will enjoy the video and if you enjoy so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never missed any episode of The Truth Chronicles.